This is one of the easiest projects uh, we will ever show you. <laughs> and to all of you new beginners, if you want to learn how to knit, this is the perfect opportunity. We're going to be knitting little strips of fabric like this. And then we're going to be putting them together to create fun things like uh, butterflies and flowers. So it's like a puzzle. So this you can actually do with your kids, if you have kids. They yeah. can knit these ribbons and you can put them together. Yeah, and we're really fascinated by butterflies and flowers, very inspired by our garden. And you could use these as pot holders, you can use them as decorations. You can use them to protect uh, your pans if you put one of these and then you put, you know, you stack your pans with these in between. Or put it on the chair, what's that called? Oh, like uh, a cushion. Uh, cushion? Yeah. yeah. So there's many, <laughs> many, many different ways to use this. Now to start knitting the strips of fabric that we're going to be using, you need to cast on 10 stitches. And we're going to be doing the garter stitch, which is the easiest stitch that you can do. Basically, you just knit. You don't even have to learn how to purl. You knit the 10 stitches and then you turn the needle around and you knit those 10 stitches again, slipping the first one and then turning around, slipping the first one and knitting. And you keep doing that until you have the correct amount of ridges according to what you want to do. So Arne has now casted uh, his 10 stitches <laughs> and I've got mine over here. So we're ready and to knit. Just knit back and forth. And we slip the first one. And then you just knit the next nine stitches. And then you can have, uh, like when we do it, we have from like the shortest are eight ridges and then we have 18 ridges and 28 ridges and then 50 and 70. That's the longest one. So you just go on like this, knit back and forth. Um, a few years ago, um, I think it was in 2007, we visited this lovely lady in the area where Arne comes from. Uh, because she was knitting a lot of doll's clothes to a doll that we had designed in those days. And she showed us these cute little pin cushions that she was knitting uh, and sending them, I think, to Romania or something yeah, to be sold so. to collect money or something. And they were really fun. They were just basically garter stitch like this. And then they were put together in this way. So one ring inside another ring. And, you know, you get this basic circular shape, which is perfect as a pincushion. And when we were doing our book, Knit and Crochet Garden, we wanted to elaborate on this idea and create more unusual shapes. But the principle is really easy. You just knit the, the amount of, um, of strips of fabric that you need. You sew them together I can show them like circles, one. folding them in half like this, and then you put them one inside the other. So I, I show on this one. So this is like the ribbon, and then you just stitch them together. Stitch these together like this. So half of the width of the, the ribbon that you knit, that's like the, the thickness of the product you're making like the butterfly this is like this is half this one so just stitch it together all the the tails or the loose ends uh, you use those when you put all the ribbons together. Then you made this circle. Now you just fold it in half. Fold it like this. And then here's a smaller one. Then you have the first piece of the puzzle. Here's the now second you, piece. Now you make a lot of these and then you can put them inside each other. So a piece with eight ridges is like the first one. So this is eight. Then you could put, 
if you put eight first, you put 18 around. And then you can put 28 around that again. So this is like the basic shape. And then you can use bigger things like, like this one. This is like 50 on each four of these rings. They all have 50 ridges. And this is a 70 ridge. That's a 70 ridge. So it's, oh, whoops. And then you just put, you put this one inside the 70. And this way you can make anything. It's like, it's like a puzzle. I can show on another one. Yeah, we've been working on this butterfly and I think we're going to have to move a little bit of the... So this is, it's not finished yet, but we're still work, working on it. And it's inspired by a real butterfly. Yeah. And then you just place these things around like that. It has to be shape or you get the shape when you stitch them together and the stitching that's a lot of work. Yeah. So when, when you have your shape you turn it to the other side and then you start sewing these things together. And it's very important when you sew it together that you make sure that you're sewing on uh, with the same color thread as the outer ring obviously and that you're sewing it from underneath. You can sew right into it more or less there. Yeah, I can show, like I use red so you, so you see what we're doing. Although we wouldn't use red for well, black. Well, if it's, you can, you can stitch in, in the folding, then it, you won't yeah, see obviously. it. But you'd never put a contrast color on the outside. This should be black. To knit it, that's easy, but then you have to start sewing. <coughs> so. You can go <coughs> all the way, like back and forth through all the pieces. Making sure that they are stuck together. I make a knot on this one. And then you just go like this in any any direction as long as they're all at, uh, sewn together like this and this is where you also lose you use all your loose ends from the knitting it's like so let me find like on this one you you keep this after you stitch it together you keep the loose ends because this you can also use when you put them together. If you don't have the right color, you should open the fold and you go in like this. You go back again. Because then you, you hide it by folding it back. So that's about it. That's it. <laughs> that's basically it. It's easy as apple pie. Well, but this is not finished yet. There's a lot of stitching. There's a lot of stitching on. to do before you can get to this stage. This needs even more stitching. Okay. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> it's easy as apple pie which is not easy to make. I don't know, I never do apple pie. Mm.